Andrews. I'm going to tell you everything. The man that's back of all of this. He's trying to wipe out the Occidental and the Oriental races. He's trying to start a new race of his own. And that man's name is... Oh! me to remain quiet, Captain. But in return, I would like to ask you for a favor. Every man aboard this ship is at your service, sir. The man who tried to kill Grogan can't be far away. You're right. Is it, Doctor? Very bad, Captain. Take him to the sick bay, boys. The discoloration around the wound looks like a poison dart. I can tell better after a more thorough examination.
go to bed. I may need you later. Yes, sir. one of your party, Mr. Wong. I can't find him in the stateroom. You'll find him on deck outside the stateroom 810. Thank you, sir. Isn't it rather strange for a member of your party to be out on deck at this time of night? He and my man are muzzling the press for you. I don't understand. They're keeping an inquisitive reporter from getting out and broadcasting the news. Need any help? No. I think they're capable of handling the situation. If you don't let me out of here, I'll go with Captain. Please, Lady Jones, accede to humble request and refrain from making unbearable situations more distressful. Besides, notice San Francisco Chinese crime detector one has disconnected telephone. Chinese merchants of Los Angeles. I have it. They're about to be put out of business for the same gang who tried to ruin San Francisco's Chinatown. Right girl. Right boy. What would you say if I told you that the reason for my trip on this boat is to follow a woman whom our editors suspect of being the head of this foreign syndicate? Like to hear more, bright boy? Is there more? There is. Both of you go to the hospital and bring Grogan here. Well, that's impossible, Chief. He's unconscious. We can't carry him. There's a watch on deck. Here. Put three drops in his tongue, and he will recover sufficiently to walk. Now go. This is the woman I'm following. She's the American representative of the European chain store syndicate, which is trying to ruin the Chinese merchants. 
there's something wrong. This is a photo of Sonia Rokoff. She's an employee of the San Francisco Chinese Merchants. I don't care who you think it is. My information comes from the city editor, and he knows. It is said, no man may serve two masters. A book does not specify how many masters a woman may serve. At any rate, it's easy enough to settle the whole thing. We'll go to Miss Rokoff's cabin and ask her about it. Oh, you can't invade the privacy of a woman's cabin at this hour of the night. Can't I? I'll be in there just as soon as I can put this away safely. Sit down. You cannot answer any question. You are speechless. Another sick as he'll be tomorrow. That's the third one tonight. Just be careful if he doesn't get noisy. Don't worry. He won't wake anybody. He was a man taken for all in all. I shall not look upon his life again. Willie knows his Shakespeare as well as his Virgil. I think he does. You know, Nelson, this is a frightful imposition. Also very faint. Better get the doctor.
here. He may not have been in his quarters. 